All right, what is going on everybody? Live from Miami, uh, in this video, I am going to be showing you the new features to Matterport. Uh, some of them are good, some of them I like, some of them I don't necessarily like. Um, so we're gonna be going over that in this video, but look at this view, unbelievable view of Miami, Florida, as you can see, a lot of tropical stuff here. And this is actually one of the condos we shot not too long ago. So you can pretty much see very, I want to say somewhat modern design, a lot of white, obviously, that's kind of what Miami is known for, very clean, very elegant. So really, guys, I'll go into more detail on the four features that I have to um, my left, right, top and bottom. So the first one I'll go into is this little tagline and logo. So as you can see, you have the Momentum 360 name, you have the logo here, but you also have our website. So if people are interested in going to our site, they can do it right then and here, which is really a nice feature, I must say. Um, the other thing that's pretty cool is there's a compass as well. So people who are using a Matterport for different initiatives, I don't know if they're gonna be using it for like a real estate tour. So I don't know if it's gonna make a lot of sense to use it in like a marketing tour, but for maybe something along the lines of if they're outside in the woods, if they're using a Matterport Pro 3, that might have some use case for it. But the compass, I'll be honest, is not necessarily my favorite because there's not much use for it with what I do. If there's someone else making a video and they specialize in doing uh, exterior 360 or 3D virtual tours using the Matterport Pro 3 for like woods and, you know, et cetera, and they're teaching kids uh, about you know, directions and how to use a compass and they just want to you know, understand the direction as it is, then there would be a use case for that, no problem. The third feature I want to go into is this little um, map, as you can see here. So you have the uh, where I am, where I'm viewing right now, and then you can see it's changing uh, once I change my view. So if I go over to this area here, boom, I'm at the door. So that's pretty cool. I actually really enjoy this feature. The one thing I don't really necessarily like is it's kind of clunky in the sense of I wish it was maybe not a square per se, maybe if it could just be a little, I, I just feel like it's not as trimmed as it could be, right? Um, the nice thing about all these features is if you don't like them, you can just get rid of them like that, which is pretty nice. Um, and the last thing I'll touch on really quickly is the quote unquote business card. So this is my headshot. This is our uh, email address, phone number, title, name, company name, and then you can add a logo, and then you could also add my LinkedIn as well, or a social media profile it doesn't need to be LinkedIn. It could be Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever you want it to be. And there you go. So this is actually a really interesting amount of features, I think, for what we do here at Momentum 360. Really, the two features I would want to include are the business card and also the logo and website, because in my opinion, if I'm trying to sell more properties, helping my realtor clients sell more properties, this is something that I would want to have. I would want to have John Smith have a headshot, pretty nice picture of him, the logo of the uh, brokerage, maybe an Instagram, maybe a LinkedIn, um, something like that, contact information here, and then, hey, put in a logo here. It doesn't even need to be a logo. Maybe it's like some sort of like offer or coupon or something like that. I'm not really sure. Add that here and then add in the website and boom, you're good to go. So guys, those were some new features that uh, were added probably like, three or four months ago that, um, in my opinion, I'll you know, just give my opinion on them. I think there, there's definitely a lot of, you know, use case for um, some of them. But uh, again, I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments below. So drop a comment below. I'd love to see exactly what you think on these new features. Is it useful? Is it not? Uh, would you be using these? Uh, what kind of business do you have? And it does it serve a purpose. So I'd love to hear that below. So definitely comment below. I'd love to talk to you guys and start a conversation on that. So thank you so much. Really appreciate the feedback and support. If you haven't yet, subscribe, smash that like button, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.